Erev Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Some interesting things happening in the world today. Uh, Reuters is reporting that Iran says Gulf is worried about war risk with President-elect Donald Trump. In fact, in their statement here, it says Donald Trump's election has led to an unease over threats to peace in the region. Iran's defense minister said on Sunday, Sunday warning that a war would destroy Israel and the small Gulf Arab states. Now, why does he say that a war would destroy Israel? And this is all over Donald Trump. Why, do they just want to target Israel because Donald Trump happens to be uh, sounding the war beats uh, for Iran? I don't know. Maybe it might be because the U.S. will actually have a naval operation base there out of Haifa, what we saw just the other day. And that might cause Israel to become a target. Uh, of these guys. Another, of course, another serious news that we're finding now is that ISIS, Islamic State, is retakes, retakes historic city of Palmyra. Now, this was something that was a prize win of the Syrian government under the, uh, the help of the Russians there inside of Syria, that they had liberated Palmyra from ISIS, and now they, they gathered together 4,000 soldiers and have retaken Palmyra. Uh, the ancient Babylonian city of the, of the, of the Middle East there. Uh, so they have taken that, says the Islamic State fighters appear to have reconquered the historic city of Palmyra after days of intense fighting on the outskirts, prompted a withdrawal by the Syrian military. So the Syrian military gains a, a Aleppo, but of course, you know, the United States changed that rules of engagement, make sure they all got a whole bunch of new guns and weapons to go in there to fight the Syrian army. They're determined to topple Syria one way or another clearly to see about that. Here's another one. Now the end begins has put out an article, Vatican orders all Catholic priests worldwide to preach the, go the gospel of climate change. Uh, says here the Catholic priests are now expected to preach about climate change to their parishioners. Vatican church chiefs have announced. So he, he carried me away, excuse me, um, it, let's see, the editor's note, uh, as we get closer to the rapture, well, let me skip that and get down here a little bit further. It is part of a worldwide drive to, uh, by the faith and increase environmental awareness. New guidelines issued to the pre-state that the members of the clergy should be uh, prompters of appropriate care for everything connected to the protection of creation. The Vatican's Pontifical Academy of Sciences has ruled that climate change is real and caused by human activity. Members of the church have been urged to spread the message in a non-political manner. Pope Francis calls for urgent action on climate change in a papal encyclical. I thought that was kind of interesting the Pope did that. And of course here, uh, something happened about a week ago on Vatican Radio here. Pope Francis meets with the Fortune Time Global Forum. Uh, says here, the Pope Francis on Saturday greeted, greeted participants of the Fortune Time Global Forum. The forum brings together Fortune 500 and Time 100 leaders who were discussing technology and jobs, global health, food and water commitment to the communities, energy and environment, and financial inclusion, each representing critical elements related to the poverty uh, uh, ele ele alleviation. Our world today is marked by great unrest, Pope Francis told them. Inequality between peoples continues to rise, and many communities are impacted directly by war and poverty. Uh, or the migration of displacement which flows from them. People want to make their voices heard and express their concerns and fears. Now, you know, guys, let me tell you something. Uh, we just put out a message on the Noon Institute of Biblical Research speaking about the RFID chip, and I think it's something that you might want to take a, a jog over there and take a look at, especially in line of, of these things that we're seeing here, because one of the main issues is to be able to control um, to control us with a microchip in the near future. Not just to control you with a microchip so you can't buy or sell. And by the way, that's one reason why uh, the U.S. government passed laws into existence, executive orders, I should say, not passing laws, but executive orders under both Bill Clinton and President uh, Obama. One, uh, Bill Clinton had, had, had passed an executive order that stated that during times of martial law, they can confiscate, confiscate all hoarded food supplies, both private and public. And of course, Obama passed, uh, his, did his own executive order that uh, says that you cannot grow your own food. Hmm. And of course, if you put a microchip into place there, you can't buy or sell saving, you take the mark, and you can't grow your own food, and of course, you can't hoard your own food, you got some serious problems. But in our special broadcast there, 
I share with the people there on the Noon Institute. And I'll put a link to that channel here inside the comment section or the, uh, excuse me, the subject section below here on this video here. I'll include a link to our channel there. You definitely want to subscribe. A couple of reasons why. One, uh, we are being blocked on Israeli News Live now. Uh, if you go to Yahoo and type in St Stephen Danoon uh, YouTube, you're blocked. They'll tell you, we don't consider this a good place for you to be. Uh, so anyway, you might want to register over there with the Noon Institute as well. It is our teaching channel, but we do share important things that are happening in the world there as well. Uh, you know, and in this case here, I look at the RFID chip as being something to alter and manipulate not only your mind with mind control, but also alternate your DNA to stop you from waking up what's inside of you. Listen to a little clip of this in closing here. Shalom, God bless you, and thank you for watching Israeli News Live. And if God lays it on your heart to support this type of work, please visit our website. Your help is desperately needed. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom. And he doesn't want Israel to wake up. This is why the government in the New World Order wants to microchip people, to alter your DNA, to make sure that part of you does not wake up. And that's what God has been revealing to me. I used to think that the microchip is not the mark of the beast. And I don't say per, per se that it is an actual mark, but the thing is, is I always knew that it would be to facilitate the, anti, the Antichrist system. I knew that it would be what they would do, but I did not know that they would use the microchip to suppress your DNA until God revealed it to me this morning that they will use this technology to suppress your DNA. Just like you have Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi can be used to suppress your